Coming off a pair of Round 1 victories, Melbourne United look to put together a strong week of practice heading into their Round 2 matchup with the Tasmania Jack Jumpers. Speaking to SEN, Chris Golding praised the efforts of next star Ariel Hook Porty across the opening two games of the season. Yeah, I mean, he's a monster and he's just scratching the surface of what he can do. You know, we're, we're always talking to him about, hey, you don't need to do too much, just be yourself, you know, block shots, chain shots, contest the rim. Um, set screens, rebound. I mean, he's one of our fastest players at seven foot, so the way he can move around the floor is just exceptional. This led into United's grassroots game, a contest which had Matthew Delavadova excited. Growing up in Maryborough, Delavadova spoke about the importance of showcase games like the sold out grassroots game to inspire young basketball players. Just seeing that, you know, there's a clear pathway to, to play in the NBL, or, you know, for the boomers, where, wherever you want to go. Um, it's possible and I think um, trying to continue to connect with, with junior clubs um, around Victoria is awesome. Come game day, over 10,000 fans packed out John Kane Arena in a celebration of junior basketball in what was a nail-biting contest. United fell just short against the Jack Jumpers, going down by five points. United will next face the Perth Wildcats on the road on Friday evening before returning home for a matchup with the Brisbane Bullets on Sunday. After back-to-back -back sellouts, be sure to lock in your seat today by becoming a Melbourne United member or going to ticketech.com.au.